Hello there! One of the most popular products in the world at the moment is something many of you might have at home. Clinique's 30-year-old Black Honey Almost Lipstick is having a pretty big year. In my autumn makeup video, I asked if you'd be interested in a closest colours I can find to Black Honey type of video, given it's sold out just about everywhere. I'll tell you a bit about the history of this sheer delight, test out popular dupes, and swatch some of my personal favourites in this colour family. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, part of my ongoing work with the website builder I use to make my blog, matildaonvideo.com. You can find a new blog post breaking down my black honey comparisons so far and there's more to come. I wanted to do a deep dive into brownie berry lip colours here. I love those shades, love sheer products, so I found about 40 lipsticks or balms in my collection that could be in a broad black honey group. I picked 14 to start with, but I'd love to hear if you'd like to see more. I split them into two sections. First, I'll test popular black honey dupes, some of the most suggested similar shades online. A couple are very close, but it's interesting to see just how much some differ when you put them in the context of the original colour. Then I'll share some personal picks, a few of my favourite formulas, lots of lovely shade alternatives if you're in a brownie berry mood. It's basically a black honey family barbecue with siblings, cousins, second cousins, Cousins all coming along. We've got drugstore options like Burt's Bees, Nivea, Revlon, department store brands like Clinique and Bobbi Brown, and luxury labels like Dior and Chanel. Two of the most suggested black honey dupes online are unfortunately sold out elf formulas. You can see one of my favourite creators, Amanda Z, test them out. And if this gets you in a sheer lip state of mind, you can also find lots of other tinted balm content on my channel. My love of Black Honey began in 2018 after many of you suggested I try it, but this almost lipstick has a much longer history. The colour was created by Clinique's co-founder Carol Phillips in 1971 in a pot and got its name because the glossy texture looked like gooey black honey. The current tube format launched in 1989, so why is it so popular now? Videos on TikTok started to sweep stock off the shelves. What looks like a dramatically dark, almost black colour in the bullet goes on as a sheer, buildable, deep berry. A real raisin, a bit blackberry, pretty plummy. The shade transforms, not because it's a colour changing balm like Dior Lip Glow, but because sheer shades always look slightly different due to your natural lip colour coming through. Black honey just deepens your lips and enhances what you already have. The balmy bullet feels so lightweight and smooth with a thin texture, much lighter than a lipstick but not slippy like a gloss, with nice natural shine. It's buildable but you can't really overdo it, no mirror needed. Let's test seven popular possible dupes that pop up online. Some lip crayons, tinted balms and shiny lipsticks. One of the best matches in my opinion is Clinique's chubby stick Richer Raisin. Makes sense that Clinique might have a similar shade elsewhere in their range. I fell in love with the Fuller Fig chubby stick in 2019, but Richer Raisin is closer. It's called a sheer plum brown and has such a similar look on, just more sheer and slightly more brown. Nice and balmy, deepens your natural lip colour and is much easier to find in stock. The Undone Beauty Light On Lip Shade Berry Glow was in my brown tinted balm edit and it's a surprisingly close match. It's described as a balm lipstick hybrid, but I think it has a thinner oil-like texture. This shade is called a cool raspberry, it's really a chocolate berry. Unlike Black Honey, this has light reflecting pigments, very fine shimmer, but the shiny finish takes over. I don't notice a shimmery look on the lips. A frequent dupe suggestion is Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm Red Dahlia. I've filmed with this before, it's a beautifully subtle brownie red tinted balm, like a much more watered down, washed out version of Black Honey. If you're wanting to ease into this colour group for the first time, this hint of tint is a great option that boosts your natural lip colour ever so slightly. It has a light balmy feel and a soft floral scent. So many of you have mentioned Burt's Bees lip shimmers to me over the years, and Fig sometimes pops up as a possible dupe. It has a minty scent and contains fine shimmer, as the name suggests, but it's even less noticeable than Undone Beauty. Fig is described as deep rose, but it's more of a peach or coral look. Much stronger colour than the Burt's Bees tinted balm above, but not a black honey twin after all. 
restarting the swatches so we can get closer to black honey again, this is where the dupe group takes a turn into berry purple territory. Nivea Blackberry Shine was suggested as a drugstore dupe. Their fruity shine sticks are universally loved for the soft tints and sweet flavours, but the formula doesn't really do anything if my lips are dry. Blackberry? This is more berry, really. It's instantly more of a purple berry, so not that close a friend of Black Honey. Glossier Ultra Lip in Ember was first seen on Olivia Rodrigo. You can find more of her makeup routine on my channel. This shade was the first dupe listed in an L article. It's called a Deep Mauve, not too purple, much deeper and darker than Nivea. Olivia has a stronger natural lip colour, so this has a black honey deepening effect on her, but on me it's quite bold, so I pat it on or sheer it out with my fingertips for a bitten look. Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipstick in Black Cherry was also mentioned in Elle and suggested by some of my Instagram followers. This is Revlon's original satin Black Cherry Lipstick's shinier sister, but you can see it's not related to Black Honey. This is way too much of a purple berry, almost like the stain that blueberries can leave behind, and the texture feels much thicker and glossier too. Before we move on to my personal favourite formulas and shade suggestions, I've started keeping a running list of these Black Honey colour cousins on my blog, matildaonvideo.com. It's so simple to insert images and YouTube videos into Squarespace templates. You don't need to know how to code, you just drag and drop to change a blog post's layout. So I can keep adding to this one if you'd like me to share more Black Honey product ideas in the new year. If you're wanting to launch a blog, website or online store, you can visit squarespace.com slash matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Time for my black honey-ish suggestions, some of my favourite formulas or shade matches I found to continue this colour theme. One of my favourite products this year has been the new Dior Lip Glow shade Mahogany. Dior reformulated their famous balm earlier this year, same peppermint scent, much better light nourishing feel now I think. Mahogany is called a luscious chocolate or sheer deep nude definitely has a very similar vibe to Black Honey, doesn't it? But it's just a touch more rosy and leaves more of a deep pink tint as it fades. Lisa Eldridge launched more luxuriously lucent sheer lipsticks a few months ago, and a few of you asked to see Painterly next to Black Honey. This shade is called a deep red chocolate. I described it as a chocolate brownie with raspberries in the recipe in my last Lisa video. It's quite a nice follow-up to Dior Mahogany. It's a stronger, rosy, berry brown, but you can keep it super subtle with one swipe. Fresh Sugar Tinted Lip Treatments are in all of my Tinted Balm videos. They're soft, citrusy, love the sheer colours. This is a heartbreaker because one of my favourites, Plum, was discontinued, but I wanted to include it in case some of you already have it, and now you know it's close to Black Honey. The first time I filmed with this formula, I even said, you'll probably notice a trend of me liking these deep current shades in my videos, and here we are four years later. Time for another swatch reset, moving into a deeper brownie berry mood. The Victoria Beckham Beauty Bitten Lip Tint shade Bizu is a liquid lip tint designed to create a bitten flush of colour. It's described as a rich nude berry and looks purple on the doe foot but goes on as a soft deep blackberry stain. This is almost the exact colour you'd expect Black Honey to be when you look at the really dark bullet. This doesn't feel sticky or dry on the lips, but there is that usual licking an envelope type of tint taste. I found this Physician's Formula Balm Nights in Rio during a drugstore browse in New York and rediscovered it swatching for this video. Quite pigmented, bit uneven, so stick to a light layer for a pretty nice match. I just don't like the taste, sort of an old cosmetic scent. Honestly thought it might have been off, but online a lot of other people don't like it either. Some of the adjectives were stale, expired, rancid fruit, sorry. If you're not phased by scents though, nice colour. Chanel's Fall Winter 2020 collection was full of beautifully rusty, berry, brown colours, including this Rouge Coco Flash shade Lust, still available. I love these light, sheer, glossy tubes, the current version of the very first Chanel lipstick formula I ever bought about 13 years ago. Lust is called a sheer mauve brown, but it's more chocolatey when you build it, but one or two swipes will give you a kind of close to black honey, shiny style. 
Last but not least, one of my all-time favorite formulas, Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color. You can catch up on my big crushed lip comparison video. This is an easy, sheer matte, long-lasting lipstick that looks like a blotted lip straight from the bullet. Blackberry instantly came to mind, even though it's quite a toasty chocolate berry and a matte, but this relaxed, low-maintenance lip color reminds me of Black Honey. I hope you enjoyed this video, bending the black honey rules a bit, bringing in other options and comparing the tones of different dupes. I'd love to hear your personal black honey histories. So many people have makeup memories attached to it. Maybe you've repurchased it so many times you can't count, or it doesn't seem to suit you, but something else here might. Or maybe this is your very first time trying a shade like this. Have you found any great matches for this iconic product? Please share in the comments and let me know if you're a fan of this sort of color story and want me to continue this swatching session in future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.